everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tifa and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make these Ganyu horns from Genshin Impact. I just want to add a little disclaimer in here saying that I'm in no way a professional, at least I don't think of myself as a professional, especially with EVA foam. I just filmed what I was doing as I went and added in the voiceovers after to give kind of like a tutorial for beginners in a way that's easy to make with cheaper items. Here are the items that you'll need to make these specific horns. This is a pretty basic tutorial. If you want to have smoother, more professional looking horns, you'll definitely need items such as a Dremel and a heat gun to make them nice and smooth. But if you are a beginner, this is the perfect tutorial for you. First, I start with the tin foil in order to shape the horns together. Ganyu has specific looking horns, so it's really hard to find a pattern for these horns. The easiest way to do that is to make your own pattern with tin foil, which is what I've done here. Next, I use some tape. I would say that masking tape or any coloured tape would work better than clear tape, as you are going to draw on this as well. So once I've put that tape all around in a thin layer, I start drawing with a sharpie in order to make a pattern. I draw around the horns in order to make flat patterns once they're cut apart. I also label each side and draw in little lines so I know where they need to stick together. I make sure that the sides that are supposed to stick together will be labelled the same. So two parts that are supposed to stay together are A and A, and the other side might be B and B, something like that. Then I use a scalpel to cut them out and lay out my patterns so they should look like this. Now I am putting these all onto this pink piece of paper so that I can draw around it. I also want to make sure I transfer the information from the masking tape to the piece of paper. So all those little lines and the parts that say A and B and also which number these are so I know where they're supposed to go when I stick them back together. Now using a scalpel I'm going to cut these out. Using a scalpel is a lot easier than scissors because then I get those beautiful curves as well which really helps when sticking everything back together. Now that I have these pieces I'm going to transfer them over to foam. So using some pins I pin it into the foam to make it easier to trace around. We also want to make sure that we are transferring the information from the pattern to the foam as well. This is just very basic foam that you can get from a craft store, which I feel like is available to the very vast majority of people rather than professional EVA foam, so that's why I've decided to make it with this. Now I have all my patterns laid out and I'm going to cut them out with this scalpel. Once these are all laid out and you have all of your pieces, I'm going to use contact cement to glue them together. Just starting with the sides that I'm going to stick together, so two sides that say A, those are going to go together first, so I put contact cement on both of those pieces and then stick them together. This is going to feel really weird because it's going to seem like they're not <laughs> supposed to go together, but just go with the way it moves so that it will curve around like the original pattern that we created. I'm using a heat gun to melt it all in together. That's just an extra step and is not necessary. You can also use a hairdryer to make it dry faster. And then I am using sandpaper in order to smooth any bits that need to be smoothed. A Dremel would work really well if you want to create that professional look, but as this is a tutorial for beginners, I feel like sandpaper is appropriate. Now I'm going to use primer all over these horns. I do it for both horns and I do two or three layers before I put on black paint. I paint the whole thing in black as Ganyu's horns are black and red and then I add white so that the red will pop when I put the red on top of it. I 
I get the contact cement and stick it to this safety pin and stick that safety pin to the horns. Clips work just as well, but I've chosen to use safety pins as I'm going to pin it through my wig before I put it on. And as you can see, I have pinned it right through the weft. I feel like it's going to stay on longer than a clip, which is why I've done it this specific way, but a clip works just as well. And that's it. That's how you make Ganyu's horns. It's pretty simple. It just takes a fair while to put together. It's a lot of waiting for things to dry, but they're not too bad. A Dremel obviously makes this better, but... I think they're pretty great. Thank you all so so much for watching. I know this is a really short tutorial but it really doesn't take much to give you the information to make these beautiful horns. If you like cosplay content or Genshin Impact content then please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. I do all kinds of videos to do with otaku lifestyle. And that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!